Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Item Breakdowns, a series where we take a look at each item in the game and break down their stats, build path, as well as animations you'll expect to see in-game if they have any. Today we're going to be knocking out all of the boots in one video, since each of them are very easy to explain, as well as very easy to understand in League of Legends. So we're going to wrap everything up into one video, so that way you guys have all the information you need pertaining to boots, in the game. So when it comes to building boots in League of Legends, there are two main things that you need to know. First one, which is the most obvious, is that it increases your movement speed. This is obviously important for keeping up with enemies, chasing them down, as well as getting around the map. The second thing is when you build this in the game, and typically you build this first or second item in the early to mid game, and depending on your gold income, whether or not you're ahead, even or behind against your lane opponent and several other factors, you're either going to be building this first or second in conjunction with your mythic. But for optimal movement speed, as well as gold efficiency, you want to be building this first or second period, not third or fourth. Also, one thing I would like to note is, is that fully completed boots do not count as legendary items. Therefore, they will not be getting you mythic stats when you build them. So for example, if you build Sorcerer's Shoes and Leandri's Torment, you're not going to get the five ability haste that Leandri's would otherwise grant to other legendary items. So when it comes to the order of how I'm going to discuss these, we're going to go with the boots that grant more movement speed then transition into the offensive boots and then transition into the defensive boots so starting off with the primary boots item we just have boots for 300 gold it grants you 25 movement speed and this is the epic item that builds into all the other boots in the game that grant you different values of movement speed as well as different stats. So the first item that we're going to be looking at is mobility boots. This grants 25 movement speed and costs a thousand gold, so this is the exact same amount of movement speed that regular boots give you. However, the effect on it reads as follows. When out of combat for at least five seconds, increase this item's effect to 115 movement speed. Now what out of combat simply means is, is that you're not giving or receiving any damage from enemy champions or to enemy champions. The context of which you would use this is if you're playing a mid laner such as Talon or Malzahar or any mid laner that requires heavy roam uh, or mobility around the map, you're going to build these to get there as fast as possible. The only downside to this is as soon as you enter combat, you lose that 115 uh, movement speed buff. So that is the big downside to this, but the upside is, is that you can go from lane to lane very quickly. Now the next item we're looking at is kind of a counterpart to the Boots of Mobility, and these are the Boots of Swiftness. They grant 60 movement speed, and the difference between these boots and the Boots of Mobility is, is that this 60 movement speed does not diminish. It is with you for the rest of the game that you have Boots of Swiftness in your inventory, and whether or not you enter combat, it is going to stay with you, period. Now, the passive on here is a type of tenacity. The strength of movement slowing effects is reduced by 25%, and to read that as more of a shorthand, slows are reduced by 25%. So what this means is, is that if you have a mage that builds Rylai's Crystal Scepter, which gives their spells a slow, or you get affected by something like, say, Nasus's W, the movement speed slow portion of Nasus's W is going to be reduced by 25%. Now, that's not going to affect the attack speed portion. This only pertains to um, movement speed. So from here, we're going to transition out of the boots that deal solely with movement speed and transition into the offensive boots. From here on out, all boots are going to have 45 movement speed. However, they are going to have different effects with them. So the first set of offensive boots we're going to look at are the Ionian Boots of Lucidity. These grant 20 ability haste, which is roughly 17% cooldown reduction, 45 movement speed, and has a passive on it to gain 12 Summoner Spell of Haste, which is somewhere around 10% cooldown reduction for your Summoner Spells. Now, the pur purpose of these boots are for bruisers, mages, as well as supports and assassins to sacrifice defensive capabilities or in a particular case that we're going to address here in the next pair of boots an offensive uh, capability to be able to cast their abilities more often with the 
20 ability haste for 950 gold getting movement speed and 17 percent cooldown reduction right out of the gate is actually very powerful now the next set of boots we're looking at are the sorcerer's shoes these are a little bit more expensive at 1100 gold but they grant 18 magic penetration and 45 movement speed now these are solely for mages who want to get more damage off through their abilities with the 18 magic penetration. So I wanted to do Ionian Boots of Lucidity next to Sorcerer Shoes because there's something specific with mages that I wanted to point out to you guys. And this involves Leandri's Anguish as well as Luden's Tempest, which are two mythic items. Now, Riot has made it very clear cut with these two mythic items, which one is anti-tank and which one is anti-squish, meaning that you build Leandri's Anguish if you are going up against a tanky team comp as a mage, and likewise, if you are up against a squishy team comp, you're going to build Luden's Tempest. So what's interesting with these itemizations here is, is that you can actually build a particular boot and mythic combination um, between Leandri's as well as Luden's and have them come out to having the same ability haste and magic penetration stats. So, for example, if you build Leandri's Anguish, the Mythic Passive gives you 5 Ability Haste per Legendary item built. So, if we do Boots, a Mythic, and 4 Legendary items, what we're going to do here is, is we're going to build this with Sorcerer Shoes. So, we're going to get 18 Magic Penetration, plus the 20 Ability Haste from Leandri's Anguish, and then if we build our 4 legendary items with that that's going to give us an additional 20 ability haste so what will end up happening is we'll have 18 magic penetration from the sorcerer shoes and then from the other five items we're going to have an additional 40 ability haste now if we take a look at luden's tempest the boots we're going to build with this are the boots of lucidity and i'm going to explain why boots of lucidity give us 20 ability haste and then the item itself luden's tempest give us another 20 ability haste so just like the landry sork shoes combo we're getting 40 ability haste. Now with the mythic passive on Luden's Tempest with four legendary items, that's giving us 20 magic penetration. So with Leandri's Sork Shoes, everything built together, you're getting 18 magic pen and 40 ability haste. With Luden's Tempest, you're getting 40 ability haste and 20 magic pen. And the cool thing here is, is, is that Luton's Tempest has additional magic penetration built in, plus the burst damage passive, which is meant to be anti-squish. And with Leandri's Anguish, you have the built-in percent health burn damage, which is meant to be anti-tank. So Riot has made it very clear and concise that Boots of Lucidity should normally be built with Luton's Tempest because it is meant for burst damage against squishy comps. And likewise, the Sork Shoes should be built with the Le Leandri's Anguish to be anti-tank and go against uh, tanky comps. So since the stats basically equal out to be the same thing when it comes to the Mythic Passive and the Boot stats, it allows you to itemize optimally with what Luden's Tempest offers versus what Leandri's Anguish offers going up against specific types of team comps. Now the next offensive boots we're looking at are Berserker's Greaves. The For 1100 gold, these grant 35% attack speed and 45 movement speed. And quite simply, you would build this item on a couple of melee champions, namely Master Yi, Trinomir, even Viego, the Ruined King. And mostly these are meant for ADCs. So because of the attack speed and the movement speed, these are going to be primarily ADC focused, and then the three melee champions that I had mentioned, those are going to be optimal for them, because obviously they want to auto attack you to death. So transitioning out of the offensive boots, we have two left, and these are our defensive boots. The first ones we're looking at are Mercury Treads for 1100 gold. These grant you 25 magic resist, 45 move speed, and 30% tenacity. Now, unlike the boots of Swiftness, which only do a 25% reduction in slows, Tenacity reduces the duration of stuns, slows, taunts, fears, silence, blinds, polymorphs, which is Lulu, and immobilization effects. The only two exceptions to this are knockups and suppressions, so Malphite ult or Malzahar ult. Uh, in the case of stuns, you have uh, Veins Condemn, slow, Nasus is W, taunt, uh, Shen Dash, fear, fiddlesticks, silence, Garen Q, 
uh, blind, which for some reason Riot hasn't figured this one out yet, uh, and evened it out among champions. You have Quinn and Teemo, Polymorph again, Lulu, and Immobilizing is just anything that shuts you down. As far as who you would build this against when it comes to Bruiser's tanks and the occasional mage or assassin and support, typically you're going to build these against team comps that are 3 AP or more and team comps that have a lot of crowd control. And last but not least, we are rounding out the video by addressing the last defensive pair of boots, which are the plated steel caps, formerly Ninja Tabby, rest in peace. These grant 20 armor, 45 movement speed, and the passive effect is reduces incoming damage from attacks by 12%. Uh, what attacks mean is auto attacks. I don't know why Riot changed that language, but it is auto attacks by 12%. Now, this stat can get a little confusing, but I'm going to make this as simple as possible. What this means in terms of damage reduction is, first of all, this damage reduction happens before armor calculation. So if somebody autos you for 100, damage what's going to happen is it's going to get knocked down to 88 damage and then armor and armor penetration are going to get calculated in after that 12 percent now when it comes to what type or source of damage this gets blocked from any damage that comes from a champion's kit will get reduced any damage that comes from items will not get reduced let me give you a prime example so take jarvin's passive for example Jarvan's passive does a percent of your health as additional damage in an auto attack. So because that is sourced in his kit as his passive, that type of damage will be reduced. However, if Jarvan builds Blade of the Ruined King, which for melee champions is 12% current health on hit, and for ranged champions 8% current health on hit, because that effect comes from an item, that will not get reduced by the passive of plated steel caps. So remember, when you build ninja tabbies, it will reduce damage that comes from on-hit effects of a champion's kit, but it will not reduce the effects of on-hit effects that come from items. Another example, just like Blade of the Ruined King, Sheen proc from either Divine Sunderer or Trinity Force. Both of those are applicable, just like all items are. And as far as the situation that you would build, plated seal caps are concerned, is if it's 3 AD or more, as well as very auto attack heavy champions. Examples would be Trindamir Top, Diana Mid, as well as possibly Leona Bot with an ADC. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this video helped you when it came to explaining boots and one of the important items in League of Legends that serves the primary function of movement speed. And remember, always, always, always complete this item as your first or second item, and you'll never have a bad time. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will see each other again real soon. Have a wonderful day.